Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so today I just want to talk about a, you could say product, that I use in my fish tanks. If you haven't seen them in my previous videos, just because I actually ran out of them. And with the holidays and all that, I hadn't had money to uh, buy any more. But I just got these in yesterday, so I threw them in my tank. You could probably guess what they are by looking closely in there. Um, they're Indian almond leaves. Um, this is the actual bag I got. So they're labeled as catapa leaves. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it also just means Indian almond leaves. Um, I got the medium size. So these guys are, hey, you can see better this way, uh, five to seven inches each. And they have a lot of uh, benefits. Um, the bag says that they're antibacteria, they prevent parasites, and it relieves stress in uh, your fish. So upon research, like I've been using these guys a lot, um, so with research previously that I did, I found out that a lot of people that ship fish actually will put some leaves in the bag. Well, not leaves, but like pieces of them. Just because it keeps there from being bacteria build up in the bags during transport. So what the leaves actually look like, I have one right here on the side. They look like this. They're relatively flat. This this brand is awesome because you can you can tell there's been no parasites on them or anything. So, storage, you want to keep them in a dry, cool place. If you saw that bag, it looks like it has an aluminum texture that keeps light out. Which is highly beneficial to storing them and keeping them from going bad while they're sitting on your shelf. It's recommended to change the leaves in your tank every two to three weeks. But I don't do that. But that's more of a aesthetic thing. So a lot of people don't like when the leaves break down in their tanks, which I'll show you in this tank, because this one actually has them. Sorry, I'm on my actual tripod right now. It's not very easy to move them. But if you see all that brown stuff on the bottom, that's the broken down leaves from last time. You can see them in the back as well. A lot of people don't like that. It doesn't bother me at all. So I just leave it in there. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus again back on here. Um... I really like these for plecos. They'll nibble on them. It's also perfect for fry tanks. The leaves, as they decompose, they actually start building up like a film on them. That usually films like a, it could be bacteria, it could be microorganisms, and fry love it. I just put one in my zebra danio uh, fry tank as well. So, I can't say anything better about these other than you would have to do your own research and check it out. But the benefits are, like, numerous. Um, I put one leaf, the, what was it, five to seven inch leaves, per gallon. So, what, one per gallon? <laughs> That'd be bad. One per every ten gallons. So this is my 30 gallon tank. There's two leaves right there that you see. And there's one on top of my, uh, do yourself, uh, what's it called? Do yourself a uh, sump. Um, my ten gallon has one. The five gallon downstairs I have two five gallons downstairs they each have one just because I didn't want to cut the leaves in half and you can't it can't really hurt to have a little bit extra the two and a half gallon over here also has one leaf so that's four times more than most people recommend the actual recommendation is one leaf for every 30 liters what well, 30 liters is a little bit less than eight gallons so that's what they recommend the dosage but I just do one for every 10 so it's much easier to keep around the numbers 10, 20, 30. So a 30 tank would use 3, 40 gallon, you put 4. So that's what I use them for. So if you guys do use these, please leave a comment below on how you use them and if you like them. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, guys.